with testosterone levels at an all-time low and male infertility at an all-time high, scientists are scratching their heads and asking why. Due to the rise of sedentary and individualistic lifestyles, poor eating habits, and greedy corporations loading our water, food, and hygiene products with endocrine disruptors, it's no wonder why our testosterone levels are on a steady decline. ...lead to detrimental effects for human life as well. While plastic does not organically degrade, it does still break down into what experts have termed microplastics. These tiny fragments of plastic enter our food supply through seafood and sea salt. Once in our digestive systems, they disrupt the human endocrine system and throw our hormones out of balance. Low testosterone is deadly for men because lowered T levels result in lowered confidence, lower sex drive, decreased motivation, decreased muscle mass, erectile dysfunction, social anxiety, and even lowered sperm counts. In today's world, the healthy range for a man's T levels is between 300 to 1,000 nanograms per deciliter. Anything below 300 is considered low. Anything above 1,000 is considered high. Now that we know how low testosterone affects men, let's talk about the mental and physical benefits to having healthy T levels. This list includes, but is not limited to, increased confidence, improved motivation, improved sperm health and sperm production, increased muscle mass, heightened libido, and also helps maintain bone strength and bone density. This means that proper hormonal health reduces the risk of osteoporosis. All these health benefits are tremendous, but in my humble opinion, the best thing about testosterone is the fact that testosterone makes effort feel good. Major effect of testosterone is to make effort feel good. When you're enjoying what you're doing, your quality of life increases drastically. I truly believe that this is where true confidence comes from. When you walk the walk, talk the talk, and you say what you mean and mean what you say, there's no greater feeling. This is a one year difference. Well, less than a year actually. This is what happens when you get your T levels up. I just want y'all to know that everything I'm showing y'all to do is not cap. I do this myself. So at this point in the video, you're probably thinking to yourself, this testosterone stuff sounds great, but you're probably asking yourself, how do I get my T levels up? Well, don't worry, because I'm about to let you know. Let's start with fitness. The best thing that you can do to optimize your T levels is lift heavy weights, engage in high intensity interval training, and sprint a couple times a week. When lifting heavy weights, it's ideal to focus on compound movements that work out multiple muscle groups at one time. Several examples of great compound movements and exercises are squats, bench press, cleans, hip thrusts, and lunges. Be sure to not skip leg day because working out legs is necessary for testosterone production. Working out legs also improves blood flow to your lower extremities, which could result in not just growing your calves, but everything else below the belt, if you catch my drift. Three to five trips to the gym a week, along with four sets of each workout in the six to 12 rep range is widely agreed upon as the best way to train in order to optimize testosterone. As you train frequently, your muscles will grow stronger and larger, which allows you to not only feel the boost in your testosterone, but you can also see the boost. Sounds like a win-win to me. A win is a win. A win is a win. I don't care what y'all say, a win is a win. Sprinting as exercise is one of the best kept secrets in the fitness industry. Sprinting causes the body to not only release higher amounts of testosterone, but also higher levels of human growth hormone, HGH, is the hormone responsible for maintenance of your tissues, immune system, and bone health, as well as regulating your metabolism, repairing and recovering your cells, enhancing your protein synthesis, and stimulating your overall growth. In simpler words, sprints will make you faster, stronger, maybe even taller. And as someone who was a sprinter back in high school, you'll become mentally more competitive and resilient. If you're anything like me, then chances are you love to eat. But it's important that we eat a nutritious and well-balanced diet. Food is fuel, and if you fill yourself up with junk, it's inevitable that your engine will stop running. It's important that you eat not too much, because that can lead to obesity, and obesity is a testosterone killer. But on the other hand, eating too little is also bad for testosterone, because testosterone binds to fat. And if you don't have any fat on your body, your testosterone is just dwindling. 
when the brain doesn't get enough fuel, it doesn't have the power to produce an adequate amount of testosterone, and we know what low testosterone does to a man. When cooking, be sure to avoid seed oils such as soybean oil, canola oil, or flaxseed oil, and instead, use olive oil. Seed oils are estrogenic. When looking for dairy products such as milk, yogurt, or cheese, look for grass-fed cows. Grass-fed cows are higher in nutrients and spend their time roaming in green pastures acting like living lawnmowers. Grass-fed beef is also known to have a higher proportion of omega-3 fatty acids that are good for the heart. And for the environmentalists out there, grazing on a pasture is also more environmentally sustainable. On the other hand, conventionally raised cows tend to be given growth hormones and other slop that causes them to grow faster. These cows also tend to have higher levels of saturated fats that they pass down to you when you eat them. Let's move on from the topic of dairy and talk about the wide menu of foods that you can indulge in to promote your testosterone production. Focus on incorporating various nutrient-rich foods into your meals. In terms of protein, consider including lean meats such as chicken, turkey, and lean beef, fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, and eggs that are not only rich in protein, but also contain vitamin D. Include healthy fats in your diet through sources like avocados, nuts such as almonds and walnuts, olive oil, and fatty fish like salmon and sardines. Zinc is a crucial mineral for testosterone, and you can find it in foods like oysters, shellfish such as crab and lobster, beef, and pumpkin seeds. Don't forget to include vegetables like broccoli, brussels sprouts, kale, and cauliflower because they contain compounds that may support hormone balance. Magnesium-rich foods like spinach, almonds, cashews, and whole grains contribute to overall health, while antioxidant-rich foods such as berries, dark chocolate, tomatoes, and green tea provide additional health benefits. Maintaining proper hydration is essential for overall health and indirectly supports hormone balance. Lastly, limit processed foods because they may contain unhealthy fats and additives that could have a negative impact on your overall health. Here are nine testosterone boosting supplements. One, fenugreek. Two, zinc. Three, tonkarali. Four, magnesium. Five, boron. Six, organic raw and filtered honey. Seven, vitamin D3. Eight, sustained tubulosa. And nine, ashwagandha. So I was hesitant to add supplements into this portion of the video, but as you can see, I got ashwagandha, turmeric, B12, magnesium. But if you're gonna get supplements, definitely make sure that you get blood work so that you know what supplements you actually need. Make sure you do your research on how to use the supplement. For example, ashwagandha, you can't take it every day. That's something you have to cycle. For instance, I take it three times a week. Everybody is different. Since we're on the topic of diet and supplementation, I thought it'd be appropriate to talk about the correlation between obesity and testosterone. Obese people have more adipose tissue, also known as body fat, and this adipose tissue contains an enzyme known as aromatase. Aromatase converts testosterone into estrogen. People can produce less testosterone due to being overweight. Obese men tend to have larger amounts of visceral fat. Too much of this fat can lead to insulin resistance high blood pressure, and lower T-levels. Visceral fat is stored in the abdomen next to your vital organs. Visceral fat is what causes the pot belly commonly seen amongst middle-aged men. <sighs> what if I told you there were a way for you to increase your testosterone levels overnight? Men who consistently get a healthy amount of sleep may have T-levels that are 60% higher than men who don't. And what is the healthy amount of sleep, you may ask? The key is to get 7 to 9 hours of sleep, go to bed, and wake up at the same time every day. Some studies have even shown that men who constantly get 5 hours of rest saw a 10-15% to 15 decrease in their testosterone levels. Lack of sleep is a testosterone killer. Don't neglect your rest and recovery. One of the biggest misconceptions about testosterone is commonly fueled by the nofap community. Nofappers are convinced that if they stop going crazy on themselves, they'll be better at talking to women, have more energy, see better gains in the gym, and even start levitating, I guess. Minus the levitation part, don't these just sound like the benefits of having higher testosterone levels? Certain nofap influencers even claim that you can raise your current T levels by a whopping 400%. Some of you may think that that sounds too good to be true, and that's because it is. Now, if you go a whole week without whacking your willy, you'll get about a 45% increase in testosterone. 
Of course, a 45% increase in testosterone doesn't sound too bad. It's not 400%, but it's pretty good. The only downside is that after a week, your testosterone will go back to baseline. Although the nofap community does push a false narrative, there is still a lot of good that comes from not touching yourself all the time. Increased confidence, better focus, and you won't be the creep that gains pleasure from watching a man lay it down on a girl that you're attracted to. On top of that, chronic wankers will be antisocial, anxious, and have low energy because constant coming what did he say? causes your body to be flooded with prolactin, which is essentially the opposite of testosterone. Long story short, stop fapping. Soap you use could be messing up your gains. This is the soap that I use because it does not contain phthalates, which are known endocrine disruptors, which can disrupt your testosterone. The ingredients in here are super simple. This is what I like to use. There's other good brands as well, but this is what I use. It wouldn't be right for me to make a testosterone optimization video without getting into the topic of estrogenics. One tip I have for you is to buy hygiene products that say no phthalates or parabens because these are endocrine disruptors. Avoid plastic as much as possible, but if you must use plastic, make sure that it says BPA free. Thank you so much for watching my video to the end. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed or learned something new. Comment down below what you think and subscribe if you're new. So this video is one that I think you will like. And this video is one that YouTube thinks you will like. I'll see you there.